Manchester United are heading into the Manchester derby this weekend, full of belief, full of vigour, and spearheaded by a Jose Mourinho who has got his mojo back. Is Mourinho getting back to his best? The Mourinho that United fans love to hate at Chelsea was the man who stood centre of attention, a lot of times for the wrong reasons. And he was certainly centre of attention on a night in Turin when Manchester United came from 1-0 down to win 2-1. And it was all focused around Jose Mourinho's celebrations at full time. Of course you've seen it, but here's the video. Now I just want to say a few words on that celebration because for me, Mourinho had every right to celebrate like that. He was getting abused by the Juventus fans right from the first minute, right up until the 90th minute and beyond. But Mourinho's subs changed the game. Mourinho himself and his management of that game changed it. So he had every right to give something back to a set of football fans that were giving it to Mourinho for the entire game. And speaking after the match, Mourinho said, I was insulted for 90 minutes. With a cool head, I wouldn't have done it. But with my family insulted, including my Inter family, I reacted like this. Now I think Mourinho should have gone full Mourinho, ran around the pitch twice, just like he did against Barcelona, and gave it back. And I think if anybody is offended by that celebration that oh, Mourinho should have more class to do this, X, Y, Z, no, get off your high horse. But I think football fans are way too easily offended. If Mourinho was given abuse the entire game, if football fans are allowed to give abuse, they've got to take it back in return. Now Mourinho is a manager that will happily give it back. Not all football fans like it. But I absolutely loved it and what I saw at full time after United win again from coming from behind in Turin. Now let's not forget that Mourinho was under a lot of pressure going into this game. Obviously everything that's gone on so far this season for Manchester United hasn't been that great. In the last four games we've certainly turned that around. But he was asked before the game whether or not the two performances and results against Juve and City this week, if they went the wrong way, would Mourinho's job be in question again? Now, Mourinho dismissed that notion, but no United fan was under any illusion that if United did get battered by Juve again, like we did at Old Trafford, and did get battered by Man City, the questions would fairly be asked about Jose Mourinho again. So in the context of that, the pressure was intense. And then the context of the game itself made it even more so. Man United were up against the ropes. Juventus deserved to be 2-3, 4-0 maybe up up until the point where Ronaldo finally broke the deadlock, 1-0. But then Juan Mata cropped up with an absolute perfect free kick to make it 1-0. And then Marouane Fellaini, the man scapegoated by so many, he caused chaos in the box. And it was Jose Mourinho's two substitutes that changed the game in favour of Manchester United. So in the context of all the pressure that was already on Jose Mourinho, in the context of everything that's happened so far this season, and the context of Juve fans abusing Mourinho, you can't be surprised that Mourinho reacted at the end. He's not a manager who just keeps it all up inside. He's a manager who explodes on occasions. That's what he did against Turin, and I for one absolutely loved it. Personally, that's the Mourinho I've been waiting to see. The best Mourinho is the one who can laugh in the face of his constant critics. The best Mourinho is the one who, against all the odds, can upset the apple cart with an incredible result and get a victory, especially when it's not even that deserved. I mean, you look at, uh, say, Liverpool away, when Chelsea went there and won when nobody gave them a chance to, and with an inferior team, and they stopped the momentum that that Liverpool team had going into the end of the season, and they didn't win the league because of it. Then you've got, say, Inter Milan's trip against Barcelona. The interpreter comes home, and you saw what it meant to Mourinho at full-time there. These are the sorts of games that I looked at as a United fan, getting Mourinho as manager and thinking that, I want to see him do that as Manchester United manager. And he did that against Juventus. And it wasn't even just on the pitch when Mourinho was taking the headlines. If you didn't see it, this was his interview after the game. What happened during the 94 minutes? Well, when you went out and celebrated Juventus, players obviously was very upset. Do you understand Italian? Uh, no. So ask the FA, they will translate for you. <laughs> okay. Now again, that's absolutely hilarious. And again, Mourinho had every right to do so. We all know Mourinho's relationship with the FA, not very good. 
And the FA right now are trying to slap something on Mourinho, saying that you know he abused somebody in Portuguese when it was caught on TV. A charge was given against Mourinho. He appealed. He won. But now the FA are in return appealing against that decision. It's Mourinho versus the world. And it's United versus the world. And this is the Mourinho that I want in charge of Manchester United. And surely you've got to be enjoying what you're seeing. And right now, on and off the pitch with Manchester United. You need to give Mourinho credit where it is due. Don't simply stick to a Mourinho out campaign because that's the narrative that is fashionable. You look at the last five games for Manchester United. Chelsea away, best performance at Stamford Bridge there in years. Juventus, we were absolutely humbled. That's not a game that anybody wants to see again. But the reaction from that Juventus game has been fantastic. Everton at home, the most comfortable performance I think we've had so far this season. Up against a team where it could have been difficult. Bournemouth away. Awful first 30 minutes, but a 60 minutes that followed was fantastic. And United scored a 91st minute winner to win there. And then Juventus away. Arguably the ultimate shithousery win. A game where United did not deserve to win. But luck was on our side and we didn't stop. And then Mata scored late. And then the chaos that ensued. Benucci, he scored an own goal. Mourinho was laughing in the face of his critics. And... <laughs> I just don't understand if there are any United fans who are offended by what they saw there. And all of this leads United perfectly into the Manchester derby. Last year, the odds were massively against United. And that was going into the game, let alone when it was 2-0 at half-time. But we won. United stopped City winning the league. And we left City fans crying in the stadium. It was a glorious moment. In a quite dismal season, it was a glorious individual moment. And now United head to the Etihad again as massive underdogs. City are arguably flying even higher than they did last year, beating teams 4-5-6-0 for absolute fun. And nobody gives United a chance. Nobody gives Mourinho a chance going into this game. But these are the conditions where the real Jose Mourinho comes to life. These are the situations that Mourinho loves. Mourinho will not back down. Mourinho will not let this United team go into the game with the wrong mentality. And if you haven't seen it, this is what Jose Mourinho said after the Juventus game when asked about the Man City game that's coming up this weekend. I think we, 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 we played this season against Chelsea and Juventus away. Um, the two best teams that we faced this season. And we played very well in both very well in both. In here, lucky to win in the last minute against Chelsea, and lucky of not to win in the last minute, but we played very, very well. And this is what, what we want. We want to play well, we want to go to every stadium, and doesn't matter the team, and we play. Then, if they are better than us, they win. If they have more potential than us, they win. If we make mistakes and we pay for the mistakes, we lose, but I, I want the feeling of doesn't matter where we go, we go to compete. And I think this is a, a feeling that also the Manchester United supporters around the world, they want to have that, that feeling. Switch on the television and doesn't matter where we play, they know that we are going to compete. We will lose matches. Today we could lose. We could lose. Um, but that feeling of we go to play, we go to try to, try to win. That's the manager of Manchester United. That's not David Moyes saying that hopefully we're going to make it difficult for Newcastle to beat us at home. That's not Louis van Gaal blaming Murphy's Law after Manchester United were embarrassed by Midtjylland. This is Jose Mourinho saying United will not back down against any team. This is Jose Mourinho saying that United are going to compete against the very best with the mindset of winners. That is what a Manchester United manager should be doing and that's what Mourinho is doing right now. And I'm sorry, but if you can't get behind Mourinho and what he's doing right now, I've got no idea what you want from a Manchester United manager. We've had a tumultuous few years, to say the least, since Fergie retired. But right now, we've finally got a person in charge of the club who has the mentality of being a winner. And yes, it's been rough. And yes, there have been a lot of shit along the way. But right now, it's the biggest wave of momentum that I think we've seen under Mourinho. It... But we have seen purple patches before and going into this game, I don't really know what to expect against City because United are massive underdogs. But this is peak Mourinho. This is a Mourinho back to his best. And, and I, for one, have every belief that United will go to City and we will try to win. And if we can do it against Juventus in Turin, 
If we can do it against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, then why can't we do it against Man City at the Etihad as well?